Um, the implementator of this project is the Addiction Research Center of Alternative Georgia, uh, with the partnership, uh, in partnership with the National Center for Disease Control and uh, Public Health and with the Georgian Harm Reduction Network, particularly with the four harm reduction centers uh, in Tbilisi and one in Rustavi, because two syringe vending machines will be implemented by each organization, in total 10 of them. This is the photos of um, uh, syringe vending machine, uh, and um, uh, this, uh, uh, this is what we are trying to implement here in Georgia, and we uh, know from the evidence of um, countries such as Switzerland, France, Germany, Austria, New Zealand, and others that SPMs are effective and cost-effective interventions. Uh, they do not replace uh, standard needle and syringe programs. They just complement. And uh, they are effective in delivery of uninterrupted uh, uh, service to deliver people who inject drugs, uh, the sterile injecting equipment, and they're effective in reaching the most hard to reach, most hidden population, such as women who use drugs and young people. Uh, and also, it improves the geographic coverage in the places where peaks and mobile needle and syringe programs are not operating. So uh, the aim, global overall, uh, the uh, um, global aim of the study is to increase access to sterile injecting equipment for PWID through implementing syringe vending machines in Georgia, and we elaborated for uh, ob for objects to fulfill this um, overall goal. Uh, to, pre, uh, to set up preconditions for the syringe vending machine, establish a community advisory board, assess needs and barriers, and tailor the SVM to meet stakeholder needs, conduct a step which design study to measure the effectiveness uh, and adoption of syringe vending machine, uh, describe the implementation process, again assess the barriers and facilitators and measure cost of the implementation and sustainability and of course propose SVM intervention institutionalization. So the, ha we hypothesized that uh, this uh, syringe vending machine will increase access to sterile injecting equipment for people who inject drugs increased access to sterile equipment and harm reduction services for uh, women and for young uh, people who inject drugs and also we hypothesize that this will help us to reduce the risky injection behavior so we fulfilled the first aim through conducting uh, the formative study throughout the whole year so that we uh, established community advisory board, which is composed uh, by uh, representatives of community health authorities and service providers. And we established another service providers group, which are uh, con uh, composed uh, of those, uh, those service providers who will be involved in this implementation in this syringe vending machine. So we conducted qualitative survey um, uh, ten, uh, 10 focus groups, six of them were conducted among uh, beneficiaries of harm reduction services and four with the staff of harm reduction services. Uh, then we reached 149 uh, injecting drug users who are not involved in harm reduction centers through the respondent driven sampling to understand their needs. And also we did very small kind of uh, pool uh, to understand the attitudes of neighbors towards the syringe vending machine. And uh, we conducted organizational readiness to understand the service providers' um, uh, expectations and their needs towards the uh, syringe vending machine. And of course, this first phase uh, finished with the mapping, uh, which helped us to identify 10 different locations, eight in Felici and two in Rustavi, for the SVM. So all this helped us to assess the needs and barriers and the findings suggest uh, some kits that should be distributed from the vending machines. These are pregnancy test kits, male and female condoms, 
uh, also some kits for stimulant users, for opioid users, and also some uh, packages for the overdose prevention. Um, so here on a Google map, you see the actual mapping, actual locations of uh, uh, those uh, syringe machines. They are just only locations for now because uh, we still are on the process of implementation. We intend to randomize those locations, but somehow we have natural <laughs> randomization because we need to get some approval from City Hall to install those machines on new locations. And so far we have two locations approved by the City Hall and these are, um, I am deeply uh, hoped that uh, we will start it from the next, uh, month, uh, next week and these two locations will be operated by one organization, HEPA Plus. So these spots, two uh, spots you see, um, uh, two um, spots are with the same color. This means that one organization will be operating syringe vending machines in two different locations. So this is how our syringe vending machines look like today. It's already loaded. Uh, it's pretty nice, I would say. Uh, so according to our formative study, uh, we got finding, very interesting finding, uh, which was like, this machine shouldn't be labeled, named as a junkies machine. So this means that the machine should be, um, uh, uh, should be used by everyone. Uh, therefore, this machine uh, will um, deliver some products for general public as well, general pop population. To um, make it uh, more acceptable uh, for the general public, because from the neighbors we got uh, very um, negative uh, responses towards uh, syringe vending machines, because they are not welcome to have such machines in their districts. So, uh, we are covering the first front page with the poster which delivers some messages on the hepatitis C elimination program, immunization calendar, and upper two shelves will, um, uh, demo, will, uh, will, be, uh, uh, will present some stuff which will be um, available for general population. Uh, this, uh, for this we did some negotiations with the pharmacy uh, and they Put, uh, they will put there uh, some condoms, some medications which are uh, available uh, without prescription of medical doctors and every person on a money can buy those stuff which is presented on a two upper shelf. So um, here we have screen, touch screen, which is very interesting and I will talk about it uh, um, the next uh, slide. This touch screen uh, uh, presents the menu uh, to select kits for buy or to get for the people who inject drugs and the lower uh, three uh, shelves are for people who inject drugs and here we will put all the materials which are distributed by the uh, Global Fund funded harm reduction services here in Georgia. So uh, the screen, this is the default um, mode of a screen which, which shows the number of uh, products with the prices and every person who comes and just puts the coins or paper money can buy the uh, product what is presented on the two shelves which is visible but this is another mode of the um, uh, machine which is available only for people who inject drugs and who are already <laughs> clients of harm reduction services and menu shows all the products what I listed earlier and after choosing the uh, menu the product will be dispensed by the machine so these are the cards already pre-printed cards uh, with the uh, digital numbers so this allows us to track each card and each uh, transaction made through this card and also here you see uh, the website uh, which is uh, will be available only for those who are card holders as this website will have online survey uh, for uh, those who already uh, used the syringe vending machine so that to track their behavior to ask uh, some questions about uh, machines and their satisfactions, how that, that was, uh, how we met their satisfactions and etc. So that we will have real time, real time data tracking. Um, so this is a little bit complicated um, slide, but I will try to explain. 
uh, we will use two types of plastic cards. These are RFID reader cards. Uh, the um, cards uh, will be given uh, to permanent clients, harm reduction services, which will be valid for six months. And we'll, they will be asked to distribute uh, uh, another kind of secondary plastic cards, which will be valid for one month. Uh, so this means that um, uh, those who have six months valid cards, uh, we know their age, sex, gen gender, and uh, um, uh, the information, very basic information what we need. Uh, and um, those who are um, uh, one month uh, valid card holders, they will be asked on a screen to answer very brief two questions. So we, um, uh, to enhance uh, uh, their motivation to participate in online survey, we are putting some incentives uh, for a kind of lottery uh, to um, uh, ask them uh, to participate in this lottery, which uh, will be um, uh, uh, kind of every month we will uh, give them some prizes. In this way, we think that uh, participation will be high, I hope so. So uh, the uh, card holders will be tracked and those who are one month valid card holders so would, um, for example, if they will like the, um, uh, the syringe vending machine, they need to come to services to uh, reactivate uh, the card for another six months. So in this way we are minimizing uh, the uh, kind of objection towards uh, syringe vending machines that um, uh, contact uh, to the clients are lost. In this way, every six months, every card holder should come to the office to reactivate uh, their valid the validity. So this is the very short brief on screen survey, which asks about gender and the uh, age before, while the machine distributes uh, the dispensing the item that was chosen and then thank you message is delivered. So uh, we are in the phase of conducting the uh, step to edge trial uh, to measure the effectiveness of this uh, syringe vending machine and here you see the white uh, cells which means uh, we are um, uh, in, during this period, we are collecting data from the harm reduction service centers and colored uh, cells indicate the um, implementation process. We start from the 16 to 17, 18 months, implement the first two syringe vending ma machines and every third month, two other machines will be added. So, so step by step, we will reach 10 machines uh, in total. So um, we will compare those data so that we will be able to talk about the effectiveness of syringe vending machines, how they are able to recruit uh, most hard to reach populations such as women and injecting young injecting drug users and also uh, we will be able to demonstrate if this uh, uh, also attracts those who are not in the harm reduction centers. So this is the model so far, uh, the machine, how it will be um, uh, installed near to pharmacy, and that's all. Thank you so much.